So we have successfully installed our Mozilla Firefox browser onto our machine. So in this video, I will talk about Mozilla add-ons that's gonna play a very important role at the time of testing any web application. There are some useful add-ons here. First one is a temper data. It is used to view and modify HTTP and HTTPS headers and post parameter. Live HTTP header, it's also used to view HTTP header of a page uh, while browsing. Uh, third is a user agent switcher. It is used to switch our user agent. Uh, another is a click jacking HTTP response detector. It is specially it is specially used to check the extreme option header that is check to that is to check the uh, click jacking attack. And at the last, our famous hack bar helps in testing SQL injection and some XSS attack. So let's go ahead and install uh, each add-ons one by one. The procedure of installation of all add-ons are nearly same. So I'm going to show you one add-ons installation. Other you can do it as an exercise. So at this stage, I will show you to installation of the temper data. Navigate your browser to google.com and simply type temper data. As you can see here, we got our first result. Make sure that you are downloading from Mozilla official website, which is addons.mozilla.org. I will go ahead and click on this first result. Now you can see here the information about this addons. You can see here the use temper data to view and modify HTTP, HTTPS, headers and post parameter. The name of developer who built this uh, addon. After that, the version of this add-on which is 11.0.1 you can see here the how temper data looks like when you install it on your browser and here some additional information about this add-ons you can read it over here and some review about this add-ons so to install this add-on you just have to click on this add to firefox it will take a few seconds now here the software installation window uh, from what and you just have to click on this install now now to check the uh, effect you just have to restart your browser so i will go ahead and click on this restart now so we have successfully installed the temper data on our browser now to check whether it is installed or not you just have to go to tools and here the temper data now do it as your exercise install other add-ons on your machine now I consider as uh, you did your exercise of installation of other add-ons. Now let's grab some basic information about all of these add-ons. Let's start with uh, the temper data. So temper data is used to view and modify the uh, HTTP requests. So let's take a look at start the temper data here and let's go to facebook.com. Now let's start temper data here, clear and start temper. Let's uh, pass some value here. Uh, email and password. And when I hit enter, you can see here the temper data capturing our request. When you click on the temper, you can see here the post parameter and the post value, LST, email, password and other options. So temper data basically used for detecting the CSRF attack and to check the hidden values which is passed by the post or get parameter. So this is the main use of temper data. Secondly, let's take a look at live HTTP header. So uh, let me let me tell you again. The stem, uh, we can we will use the temper data in next couple of the videos to detect uh, um, CSRF attack. So let's move on to the next add-on which is known as a live HTTP header. This is the similar as uh, temper data. You can capture your HTTP headers. Similarly, let's uh, type email password as AA. Make sure that you, and to capture here, make sure that you tick this uh, option. So when I click on the login here, you can see here it captured our all traffic 
similar LST display name and other information so the basic basically this is the same functionality as a temper data uh, uh, we will use this uh, live HTTP header at the time of injecting header SQL injection so I will go ahead and click close this now the our next add-on is a user agent switch user agent switcher now this is the quite interesting here now let's say um, let's visit some uh, pass.com here now user agent switcher is uh, mostly used to change our user agent and uh, to check the mobile version of any website so you can see here the pass.com more PC version but we know that the pass.com is running mobile version uh, also the mobile version and PC version have some different functionality so you can if you fail to find the vulnerabilities on PC version you can give you a try on the mobile version if you open pass.com on your mobile you can uh, see the mobile version of pass.com but you can mobile version is running on subdomain let's say parse.m dot and hit enter you can see the server is not found on the second day let's try something else slash m you can see here the page doesn't exist now uh, our tar uh, so our aim is to find the mobile version of pass.com so I will simply go to the tools default agent and choose the iPhone 3.0 and when I reload the page you can see here the page looks different than older this is the mobile version of pass.com and it running the different functionality as compared to PC version so if you fail to find the I will repeat again if you fail to find the vulnerability on PC version you can give you a try on the mobile version of any website let's take a quick look on the another site which is itse.com similarly let's try some subdomain here yum.itse.com you can see here there is nothing, nothing happen but we know that the itse.com running mobile version and the mobile version have a different functionality as compared to PC version so I will go ahead and tools and default agent switcher and click on this iPhone 3 and when I reload the page you can see here the PC mobile sorry mobile version of itse.com it looks at something different from the PC version so this is the main use of uh, default user agent now let's move on to the our next add-on which is the hack bar you can start hack bar by using uh, function f9 key or simply go to view and hack bar now uh, uh, hackbar is one of the best add-ons when you exploiting the SQL injection you can see here there are a lot of the option which makes the injecting job easier you can see here the union select statement and space lime encoding base code 64 X encoding and a lot of the other option we will use this add-ons in SQL injection uh, scenarios so so this is uh, this is all about the uh, Mozilla Firefox add-ons. Now let's move on to the next part of Burp Suit. Burp Suit is an integrated platform for performing security testing of web application. There are multiple key components about Burp Suit. An intercepting proxy which lets you inspect and modify traffic between your browser and target application. There are a the lot of the more features about Burp Suit. You can read it over their official website, which is the. Let's Google it. Port, cigar, and the first result here. Now look for the download section here. 
now uh, there are the two version for the pop suit first is a free edition and second is a professional edition of course the free edition have some limitation you can read the limitation over here bob suit intruder bob scanner and a lot of the other results and if we look at the about bob suit you can see here the all feature of the bob suit of what the bob suit can do and other information so let's go to the download section as this is the basic penetration testing course the free edition is uh, comfortable at this stage i will go ahead and click on this download now now uh, it may take a few seconds save file as you can see here the download gets started and also it's finished just click on this now the burp suit is written in java so you have to install java on your machine i will go ahead and accept this as you can see here the lot of the plenty options we will come back to burp suit too. we're gonna use the burp suit in next couple of the videos so all over we have completed all installation process on so on the next video i will walk you through the process of google doc